Hi, welcome to Sip and Shelly DIY. Today we're going to show you how to make this Konisha lampshade. We've already showed you how to make a cylinder lampshade. This one's just go straight down. This is smaller at the top and wider at the bottom. For the start of this project, we need a cone shaped lampshade and a self adhesive sticky back lampshade foil um, that is here. We're going to mark out the fat shape of the lampshade on it. I've got a label on here which is going to help us to start show where the start and finish is. We're going to light down more or less at an angle and in the middle of the paper, and then we're going to turn it round. And as we go, we're going to mark it on both sides with a pencil. So now I'm going to add on this edge two and a half centimeters. This is then to overlap on the shade so that the shade will hold into place. This is the material I'm going to use. You have to be careful using the pattern material. It can't be too regular, otherwise it will look funny on the shape of the lampshade. So the bigger the print, the better. So I'm taking, I'm going to use this one. I've just ironed it, as you can see. I'm now going to turn it over, and then I'm going to stick this onto the back of it. Now that we've stuck the adhesive to the material, we can now mark out on the material a centimetre that overlaps. So we're just going to mark along all along here and then join all the dots up so that we get one centimetre overlap here and I want a one centimetre overlap here. And here and here I'm just going to cut along the edge of the self-adhesive lamp and shade foil. So here's the overlap, as you can see, this is just material here as well. And here I cut with a cutter, just straight along. And it's better to cut with a cutter than it is with a pair of scissors. A pair of scissors tends to fry the material. Now I'm going to use a double-sided tape. I'm going to put it on the, on the right on the edge of the fabric, at the top and the bottom of the shade. And if you want to know what you need, to make this lampshade in the description down below we've written everything in that you need to buy to actually make it here where we've marked the overlap when I turn the lampshade over it's still here which means I've got to put along here two or three strips of double-sided sticky tape I'm going to add the final tape. It's going to go just overlapping on top of here, on top of the adhesive um, backing. Then I'm going to take off these the backings from the tape, I'm going to place the lampshade on top, and I'm going to roll it along, and the lampshade will stick to these edges. Okay, now it's time to fold over the material and tuck it in underneath here. Um, as you can see, there's these rods in the way. So just to avoid them, we're just going to get the scissors and make some simple cuts in the material to make sure we go around them left and right. As you can see here, I'm going to tuck it in over. This one going left. Over 
over here and this one going over the right hand side over here okay and we're going to do top and bottom exactly the same and then we should have a nice neat finish Here's the finished lampshade. Next time we're going to be making a lamp stand for the lampshade out of one of the table legs that we used in the plant stand project. If you haven't seen that video yet, then have a look up here and take a good look at it. Then, ta-ta for now. Till next time.